Welcome to my 10th tutorial on Erlang. Today we're going to talk about IO getLine and IO format. So we're going to start with IO getLine. It allows you to read in a line as a string. So we have a variable equals IO. What we're typing from the keyboard is going to be assigned to the variable L. So IO. prompt hello l cuz hello next is the io format the io format takes in various control sequences which i'm going to show you the squiggle p and the squiggle w and I'll explain what they do. So IO format. Uh, my name, well, we use squiggle W, which is any term. There's squiggle C, which is character, squiggle F, which is float. Squiggle E, float in scientific notation. I think, yeah, squiggle W is my name. And squiggle n means new line, which if you've seen my previous tutorial, you should be able to pick up on that. And a list, and we call it Joe John Doe. So, Do. yeah, yes, yes, it's an atom, so yeah. John Doe is my name. Or we can put another squiggle W and a comma here. And we see the result. John Doe is my name. And then we can try a third one. Squiggle W again. As you can see, it's writing out um, everything in the list sequentially. So John followed by Doe followed by really. John Doe is my name, really. So hope you enjoy my tutorial. I just had to do a quick tutorial about IO formats just to get ready for Erlang concurrency, which is what I'm going to do in my next video so see you guys then